Yo, 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 man, we're back. We're about to talk to the purple haired, pink dressed. Yes, with yes, the yes, diamond yes, diamond yes. With the gold on the rings. I am your host, Tar. To, next to me is your co host, Dante. We are continuing on from where we left off. Part two. Psych. This ain't part two. This is like part one million. Keep going, Dante. I bet Miss May is his, like, secretary. More than one. Uh. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. I knew it. Look at me. Look at you. What a shock it has to I, what I hear what she has done. This guy tried to blame her. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Nah. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable, ineffable that he she had to pause. <laughs> I haven't heard of that word either. I've, I've heard of that. But, uh. Fuck. Yeah. Maybe I haven't heard of that either. Never mind. <laughs> I have, maybe I haven't heard of that. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like something I heard of. I don't know. Ineffable. Uh, it sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Yes, it is. <laughs> Guess what? We're not falling for that crap. No, Mr. My vocabulary is so good. On the night of the murder, were you in Miss April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. Don't give me that bull crap! My model is, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I want to pause real quick because I want to check uh, the last video and make you're sure you're it's you're signing good. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, we just made sure everything was good and everything's good. Gone for 24 hours. What? No. Still, Mr. Wright, the hotel bellboy has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. Very, very clearly. Mm. <laughs> no matter, the bellboy can say that what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. <laughs> hmm. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Hmm. <laughs> he should have seen the same thing as April May. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. The police, the courts, to me, they are merely toys. Play things for my amusement. Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Oh, uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You may say we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you are wondering, a blue core was named after the color yellow. I, Red White, a blue core as founder and CEO. Red, white, and blue. Named it so. Yeah, yeah, America. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. He's a corrupt Like CEO. his eyes. His eyes are blue. He's a corrupt CEO. Fantabulistic, is it not? How about that painting you stole? Um, there's something that's been bothering me, and it's not your haircut. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. Where did you get it? Say, when did you get that painting? Mm, 
<sighs> no idea. I forgot. It was just so long ago. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Long, was it? Right. It appears you not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, uh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, grody burger. What? 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 Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened? Did he just he, slap us? He punched me. Yo. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. How? What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say he's gonna be blackmail. <coughs> Corrupt CEO. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? If you got billions, yo. I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Mm. You came here from Grody Burgers, I assume. Mr. Grossburgs. Mr. Grossburgs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that his painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live purely for personal profit. <laughs> Go now, Skidado. There is nothing more to discuss. Oh, I don't like him. He just assaulted us. That's crazy. The crazy thing about it is, he's right. We can't do anything. No. Look at his desk, man. The painting was it yesterday hanging in Mr. Grossberg's office. Why does this white have it now? It's not hard to imagine a few possibilities. Yeah. Look at these trophies. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special runner-up, best participation. <laughs> Judges cooperation award, special good try prize. <laughs> Whack. Hmm. The words judges and special kind of stand out. <laughs> They're calling him special. He probably strong-armed them into giving them something. Let's look at this nice uh, statue. Yeah. A statue of a man holding up the world. And he's saying the world is blue core. Hmm. The blue corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model of the man is, of course, Mr. White. He's trying to say he's holding up the world. He's trying to say he's holding up blue corp and yeah. the world. Yeah, like he's saying blue core is the world. Yeah. So he's holding up the world in that sense. Yeah. The world is awfully green. So much land. Oh, look at that butt, though. Look at those feet, though. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My, my. This is quite the thing. <laughs> Butt cheeks, man. What if you walk into somebody's office and they had this much clashing stuff? <laughs> Maybe if they took away the, the blue corp dude and they made him like gray or gold, it'd be cool, but. You're right. He's like the only like silver thing that stands out yeah. besides those two trophies. He looks like New York City, uh, the Statue of Liberty. With the color wise. Yeah. Wow. This is the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. Mm. Uh, I think that's everything. Now we go to the guy's office. Rosenberg. Thank you for hitting me. Because he's a scum. <laughs> that's you, wasn't it? Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think it was. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 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 
Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. He just looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem. Jumping. Oh. You. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I am not seen out yet. I was just thinking about the whole mess. This whole mess. It is quite, quite the mess, sir. Mm. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Don't worry, we got you. Your refusal. I asked before, but why did you refuse to request her defense? Because he also doesn't want to end up like uh, Maya. Because if he says something and protests against him like Miss Maywell, he's going to get kerputted. I think I have the right to know. All right. Mr. Wright. No. No, I'm sorry. It's just... I need more time to think about it, my boy. My boy. Mm. Hmm. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. I mean, I do too. How about Mr. White? So, I played Blue Corp visit. Oh. I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit. Something has been bothering me. Where's your painting at? Oh, what is it? Well, I'm with it, my boy. You see, it's just... The big freaking painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The ones... The one you said had no intention the one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. <clears throat> so, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. It is. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Yep, yep. Co connected, you see. Uh huh. Yes. And I know what it is. He, your lovers. Uh, he's giving you information, or he's blackmailing. I'm gonna say blackmailing. <laughs> lovers would be funny. Play lovers. Then let's see what he say. It's not something I could can claim to understand. <laughs> but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? My boy! <laughs> you sent that painting to him. Because you love him. As a sign. A sign of undying love! <laughs> my, my, my boy, please. You're letting your fancies run away with you. Oh. Where did you get these bizarre ideas? <laughs> I, From the recesses I don't understand. Of my mind. How could you? The, the, the uh, devil when it was me the devil who loved you <laughs> that's because I'm not we're not don't be ridiculous <laughs> are you sure enough I'll swallow my pride and tell you all that's not the only thing you'll be swallowing based on what hey, you yo. said <laughs> 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 I knew it they are lovers. <laughs> <laughs> See, right. Phoenix, I was thinking it too. No, no, we're not lovers. Huh? How did we, you hear I would that? say we said that in our mind. We are not lovers. <laughs> Red White is a man who lives. Who lives? <laughs> oh. <Man. laughs> My bad, folks. <laughs> Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Well, he, he does live. You know, he, he's got a point. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. <clears throat> I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 Dang. years now. 
<laughs> Jesus that strong. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. <laughs> All because of the DL six incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the f photographs. Does that mean a Mister? Red White. Red White, convicted of something before, and that's like his uh, case number or something. DL six. Yeah. Well, we find out. As you expected, I could not stand in defense because of, of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection, huh? It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. I guess I was wrong. I don't, I don't know. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? Nigh, though. He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. Yeah. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. All of them are corrupt. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Does he mean psychologically or, or physically? How about both? <laughs> <laughs> what is the DL6 incident? Too much KFC. The DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. Oh, I might even write then. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Maya. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Oh. Oh, that's their mom. <gasps> oh, it's all coming together now. Fay. Fay? Indeed. She was Maya's mother. Maya, or. Mm. Ma yeah, that's Maya. My lips. Maya. My mustache. Maya told us about this. She had been investigating a murder at the Big Quest of the police and she failed as a result the police caught her fraud right yep i remember that this is what maya was talking about the other day man my mind is so crazy right now i thought all the way back to that <laughs> i did all i could for her and in the end cleared her wrongdoing of wrongdoing the murder case however remains unsolved to this day that case is the dl6 incident so i was right Yes, you were. But why are you... Why were you blackmailed over this by Mr. Gross... Mr. Grossberg? Mr. Mr. By Mr. Aye. The D06 incident was top secret at the time. Oh. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. Uh -huh, of course. That'd make you look quite silly. They couldn't let people know. But one person find out. I... I told him. Told who? told white whoa, whoa. he offered me riches it is an embarrassment to me now because i talked the police were mocked far and wide man in secret they began looking for the one who sold them out which was you <clears throat> of course white heard about it and he came to me yep only this time the offer was blackmail yeah what about white mail yeah what about white mail <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> that, that, that. I see. Mm. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Maya's office. Maya's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found today's trial we'll find out about the today's trial next, next time. time oh i beat him to it this episode ha 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 nice man uh, and until next time good, good looking up man peace we'll be back in this